I have a couple of questions about Kiefer. Would you mind talking about it? Um, what is it? Sam told me that you went to her for advice about sex and that she took you to a clinic. What, what's your question? Did you want to have sex with Kiefer or did he pressure you into it? Sonny, I wanted to sleep with Kiefer. Did he bring it up first? Well, yeah, guys usually do, don't they? I mean, Kiefer was 18, he'd had sex before. It was just natural for him to expect it. But how did you feel? I wanted to make him happy. He could have dated any girl he wanted. And last year he dated the prettiest cheerleader. So you had sex with him because you were afraid that he'd leave you if you didn't? I guess maybe a part of me felt that way. But I also wanted to, honestly. I mean, that's why I asked Sam for advice, and I... I went to the clinic and started taking the pill. By the time you came to this decision, had he already hit you? Just once, and it was more of a slap. A slap is a hit. I know! So what happened then? It happened here at the house. He first started kissing me. He tried to go further, but I stopped him. He got annoyed and said we'd been together for months. How long did I expect him to wait? And I, I said something, I, I can't remember what, and he slapped me really hard on the face. I guess he was just frustrated. It doesn't matter how he felt. Do you get that? What he did was wrong. There was no excuse. Do you understand? And don't just say yes, Mom. Don't say that. Tell me how you really, really feel. I get that hitting me was wrong. But I made Kiefer mad sometimes. It doesn't matter And it how wasn't just him being awful him. and me being perfect. Honey, it's not what you did. It's what he did. How, Christina, could you stay with someone who hit you? I'm sorry. 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 Okay. Dr. Winters is asking me the same thing. She says, figuring out why I served with Kiefer is the key to better self-esteem. And so what have the two of you come up with? We've only had four sessions. Okay, listen. I know that what's going on between you and Dr. Winters is private, and you have every right to keep it that way. So if you prefer not to talk about this, I get it. Okay? It's just really hard to talk about. Now, I've kept it a secret for so long. Out of shame, I guess. And, and because I didn't want him to get in trouble. Honey, why would you protect someone who hurt you? I knew who Kiefer was before he even noticed me. Oh. And then when we started talking and then dating, I was really flattered. And it's not like I had any experience. No, you didn't. He was your first boyfriend. He was so confident and sure of himself. When Kiefer led the relationship, he decided what we did and who we hung out with. He even got me that cell phone so he could always reach me whenever he wanted. And the first time Kiefer hit me, I was so shocked and upset. But then afterwards, he was so sorry and he swore it would never happen again. I believed him. 
I wanted to believe him. I wanted us to be boyfriend and girlfriend because it made me feel like I was somebody. Why? How is it possible that you don't see how wonderful you are and that you deserve better? Maybe I wanted to prove I made the right decision choosing Kiefer. Yeah, everyone liked him so much. I'm sorry that I didn't stop this. You did the best you could. I did not. Yes, you because did. I'm your mother and I should have known what was going on. I should have picked up on something and, and you should have been able to come talk to me and tell me anything. But Dad was never around. You had no one to help you. And I totally understand why you didn't want him to be. <laughs> I made the choices that I made because I didn't want you to be in an environment where violence was acceptable. So somehow you got the message anyway. And I know intellectually I'm not to blame, but emotionally in my heart I feel like I am. I made the choice to stay with Kiefer. I'm still working on why. I'm so proud of you. And if you keep working, you're gonna get this all figured out and you're gonna see how special you are and that you deserve so much better. I love you. I love you so much. I love you too, Mom.